Belfry High School principal Mark Gannon arrived at school today thinking he would be entertaining elementary spelling bee contestants. As he quickly learned, that wouldn't be the case. I had a couple students uh, approach one of our teachers uh, right before 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, said that a student supposedly had brought a, uh, a weapon to school and had hid it in a, uh, in a resource room. Kentucky State Police Post 9 in Pikeville arrived at the scene within minutes. Post 9 received a complaint from Belfry High School stating that uh, a juvenile had possibly brought a firearm to school. Uh, our troopers responded to the scene, uh, contacted the principal uh, as well as the juvenile, at which point uh, the juvenile was detained and transported to Breathitt County Juvenile Detention Center. Pike County School Superintendent David Lester says if the situation hadn't been handled properly, Belfry would have gone on lockdown. But, he adds, Gannon worked well under pressure. Had there been uh, a situation in which he was unable to go directly and pick that weapon up, if he had not found it right away, then the school would have gone on lockdown until proper authorities came, searches were made, and, and the investigation would continue. Gannon says he acted quickly. The teacher approached me at right before 8 o'clock this morning, right after she heard. Uh, I immediately went to the place where this student said it, uh, told her where the uh, weapon was uh, hiding or where the student had hit it, and found a weapon, an unloaded pistol. Uh, we immediately uh, looked for the young man that supposedly uh, brought the weapon, and we isolated him and we called state police. Mounts adds that if you are concerned about a situation happening at school, call the school first. Information is crucial when it comes to dealing with situations like this. Uh, if a student or a parent uh, receives bad information and they in turn have the snowball effect uh, to where they keep passing this bad information along, uh, it just creates complete chaos and it actually adheres to the investigation that we have going on. There were no threats made by the juvenile. He was transported to Breathitt County Juvenile Detention Center. The case remains under investigation by KSP. For EKB-TV News, I'm Shelby Still.